In this video, we're gonna take a look at three teacher technology tools that you can use in the classroom right now. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Mr. Cook's Corner, education for educators. This channel's all about helping teachers like you grow in your craft. If it's your first time watching, welcome aboard. Please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell if you like what you see today. Okay, let's hop right to it. Three teacher technology tools that you can use in your classroom right now. Our first teacher tool that we're gonna take a look at is onlinestopwatch.com. It's one of the easiest teacher tools that you're gonna find out here. When you first click on the website, you'll have a choice between stopwatch and countdown. And although it's nice to count up using a typical stopwatch, we find that the countdown is what you're really looking for. If you just use the primary version on the main page, you're gonna just see a basic number set where you type in the time, you hit set, and off you go. If you're gonna use this to project full screen to your students, there's a button right underneath it to hit full screen. And then from there, you do the same thing. You click countdown, set your timer, and off you go. However, beyond the basic countdown timer, there are so many more available to you. We have race timers. I just set the time as before. And then when I hit start, you've got swimmers in a race. There's also holiday themed timers. So this is a Valentine's Day ring reveal timer, and as it gets closer to zero, the box slowly opens, and when it hits zero, it will be fully open, it'll be a ring presented. But perhaps my favorite set of timers are the sensory themed timers. These just help students relax. You've got liquid egg timers, flowing goo, lava lamps, colored circles, just basic, easy things that keep people relaxed and keep your students on task. If I'm being fair, the one downside is that there are lots of ads splayed all over the place, but you can simply click them off with an X. However, if you do the full screen, you'll notice that it's much less intrusive than when you just do the small version of it. So check out onlinestopwatch.com. The next online teacher tool I want to show you is Bouncy Balls. It's a great way to manage classroom noise or visualize your music. As you can see here, we've got a set of bouncy balls ready to go. You can change them from plastic to emoji. You can use bubbles. You can use eyeballs. Let's just stick with the emoji ones for right now. And what happens is you speak in the classroom. So you turn on your microphone and as students get too loud, the balls bounce to a certain level and then you're warned to be quiet. So let me turn on the microphone. And as you can see, they're moving around here. And when I start to get too loud, they bounce a little bit higher. You'll notice that it's not setting anything off though because the sensitivity is set at a certain level. So I can tweak this to where now when I talk, you can see they're bouncing a lot higher. And now I've been warned that it's too noisy. Now me just talking by myself, I wouldn't want that to set off the noise alarm. So you'll have to get a gauge with your students at them talking at the level that you want. And then you will adjust the sensitivity accordingly. You can also toggle on a noise alert to show a shush or a beep or no sound whatsoever. So whenever the students do get too loud, it will warn you. It's a really simple, easy to use website. You just type in bouncyballs.org and off you go. Highly recommended. This last teacher tool that I'd like to share is wheelofnames.com. Teachers, we know you've got lots of name generators out there. There are several you could find online. However, I wanted to highlight this one as my favorite because of the customization options that it has. For example, here we've got a class of eight students. If I wanna randomize the list, I just click on shuffle. You can see each time it's reordering the wheel. I can sort it alphabetically if I want to. I can even add an image. So if I want to go in and put a bunch of pictures on the wheel, possibilities are endless with what you could use that for. But beyond that, you've got tons of options. You can customize the sound it makes while it's spinning. You can adjust how long it takes for the wheel to finish spinning. So if you want a five second spin or you want a one second spin, you can set that up so it'll spin quickly or slowly. You can also customize things to happen after the spin is over. So you could have a pop-up message. This one says we have a winner. You could change that or you can just remove it. You can have confetti launching when a winner is picked. Perhaps one of my favorite options is the ability to remove the student after they've been picked. So whenever you do a spin and someone is chosen, you can either close it or you can remove them from the list and now they're down to seven. So that way you can go through your entire classroom list and everybody will get chosen. Perhaps most importantly though, you can also save your lists. You can create files. All you have to do is set up an account. You could do that through your Google account. It's free to do, but that way you can save your different lists of students and then you can just open them whenever you need them. So if you're doing a block one or a block two or a block three, you can access them here. Wheel of Names is probably one of the best random name generators out there. Highly recommend you check it out. What are some of your favorite tools that you're using right now? Let us know in the comments. In the meantime, watch more videos, huh? See you next time at Mr. Cook's Corner. Bye.